Hey, what's going on everybody? It's your boy Joe Fame coming at you with a brand new video. Today, I'm going to basically build my studio. I kind of already had it set up, but I kind of retook really everything down and I'm going to make it as neat as I can. I got a brand new PC that's coming in. I'm going to be doing an unboxing of that and set up. But I want to have my studio set up before I get my new PC going. I usually use right now a MacBook Pro, but I will be in a PC. But this today is going to be setting up your own studio your bedroom studio, regardless if it's for music production, for live broadcasting, for just YouTube content, whatever type you want to set up your studio to be, I'm going to dissect into it today. So make sure you stay put because right after this intro, we're going to dive into everything you need to get going and we're going to set it up. I'm going to give you a list of everything that you need down in the description below, but basically you can have it your own way from the different mics you could choose. There's so many different ways you can set up. The first way, we're going to get a good laugh out of it. People have their personalized decks that you get from Ikea, or you have a really nice desk. The majority, about 98% of people probably have a really nice desk. You want something quick, you don't really want to assemble anything, you know what, I got a solution for you. You know what you do? You get yourself a little folding table. This is a six foot folding table that's going to be perfect because you know why yes it's ugly yes it's whatever it's white but we're going to make it look fancy so on amazon this is what you get you get yourself a nice event tablecloth not just a regular tablecloth because the tablecloth is wrinkly it's ugly you can get that if you really want to but what i like about this is it covers the whole way down so basically you don't have to worry about cable management so if you're lazy like me you know, you still want to make your cables look as neat as possible, but if you don't really have to worry about people seeing it, because it's going to be covered, that's the way to go with this. This is a cheap option. This is basically, like I said, you don't have a table, you need a cheap option. You know, you don't want to spend a few hundred dollars on, you know, a table. You get yourself a folding table, and like this, it's like 40 bucks. 40 bucks to make it look neat, and you don't have to worry about spending a couple hundred on a table. And the best part comes in all different colors, so you can choose the color you want that will fit your needs. So we're gonna unfold this right here, and we're gonna set this table up really quick. And let's see how it look and neat it's gonna be. Like I said, it's got the little spots right here that will wrap around the bottom of your legs. So we'll take this ugly table, flip it on its side, and we're gonna see what it's like. So there we best have it. You can see, starting to get the tablecloth on. So after you have your table, next thing you need is a monitor. So you want to place your monitor in the middle of the table to make it look nice and fancy. So basically, once you have your monitor set up, try to organize it. You're probably going to have to move things around. You want to make sure everything's going to be straight and perfect. You're definitely going to want to measure, line. Everything fits perfectly. I don't think I have things perfectly measured, but you get an idea. So I got like an LG ultra wide screen. I definitely need to get another monitor, so I have a two monitor setup. But you can always get away with what you have. If you got a crappy monitor, do what you got until you can upgrade and get something better. Next, obviously, we're going to connect our speakers. You can go different routes when you have your speakers. You can go as cheap as, I guess, getting certain computer speakers if you want. Or you can get cheap as speakers like these. Uh, they also have the Mackie versions, like 100 bucks for the pair. Little computer speakers, but they're better than computer speakers. Get yourself a little monitor set. There's other Logitech speakers that I heard are pretty good. Just anything that's really not a computer speaker, monitors are better. Like I said, you get those little cheap ones, like especially like the Mackie ones, like a hundred bucks. Like I said, I'm gonna have a description for everything in the comment from what I have to also other alternatives so you can get what you need. So I got my Yamaha speakers and I have them on these guys. So these are great for them to have isolation, left of the speaker, also prevents the uh, bass as well. So definitely the acoustic foam definitely helps uh, having for your speakers. When you do your speakers, you want to make sure you do, it's good to have somebody with you, I don't have anybody with me, I'm going to have to just find over time, but you're going to want to have somebody sitting in a chair, basically painting straight out, and you're going to want to do a little triangle of your speakers so that the little cone lines up with your ears so you get a better hear and how that thing's supposed to sound. So, like I said, you don't have to get the Yamaha speakers. You can basically get any type of speakers you want. But if you're into music production, you may want to get a good pair of like Rocket speakers or the Yamaha speakers and HS5s or 7s or even 8s. I got 8s because I like the big boys. Um, like I said, when you have your computer chair set up in the middle, you want these cones right here in the middle to line up with your ear. 
So you get a measuring tape and you want to line up just like a perfect triangle. You're going to want to do to get that best sound, especially for mixing, editing, anything like that. That's how you kind of want to do it. For just the purpose of this video, I'm just trying to speed things along, get things going a little bit quicker. You know what I mean? I just got out of work, so I'm like, just trying to do as fast as possible for, you know, my new PC comes in. So this, like I said, look, look how nice it looks already. Like, you have your monitor, you have your desk, which is not even a desk. This is so much nicer than just having a white tabletop. Like, just adding that tablecloth to it. Like I said, even if you got a black tablecloth, in the meantime, you can. But the bottom, like when you look at the bottom, it goes down a ways. Yeah, you, you can see some cables, but majority, you're not gonna see the cables at all because the way you're gonna wanna do it is you're still gonna do wanna do some type of cable management so it still looks clever in the back, which basically you won't even see underneath here unless you really look underneath the table, which I'm always gonna do. But uh, yeah, so we're gonna keep going with it. The next thing you're gonna need is an audio interface. You get yourself a Scarlet Solo or really anyone that, that takes this. If you already have uh, any type of audio interface, there's cheap ones and there's more expensive ones. Or if you plan on doing podcasts, you can get like the Rodecaster or something like that. But I got the 2i2, mm, oh 2i4, I'm sorry, this is a 2i4. I think this is like the second gen. I don't even think this is even the third gen. I think this is like still the second gen. But uh, I got this a couple years ago from full sale. All this stuff I got from Full Sail. If you have the stuff lying around, use it. You know, even if it's a kind of outdated, as long as it kind of works still, use it. But audio interface, definitely, definitely, definitely need. Don't rely on computer speakers <laughs> or anything like that. Use an interface for your microphone and everything else like that. This, you kind of just want to stick out. I stick it right underneath my monitor. It looks neat, it looks clever. You could, like I said, mount it if you were going to do the test and just do cable management. You can underneath it, but you want to be able to have access to your audio interface. You want to be able to adjust your headphones, your microphones, or any instruments that you plug into it. You need to adjust everything accordingly. So definitely good to have. Like, I really don't want to really see any type of cables at all. That's the ultimate goal. Is I really just try not to see any cables. And look, we're already getting there. Like, look, you got your pit, a monitor, your audio interface and your two speakers like I said they could be any type of speakers but it's just to make it look clean make it look laid out next thing that we're gonna need let's see let's see what we're gonna need next show it along our next thing that we added was a keyboard and mouse I also got an RGB mouse pad obviously I filled out at a different time but it showed the RGB light up and that was gonna look so much nicer with this tablecloth and everything set up I'm eventually gonna get a new keyboard and but you know use what you got so this is like a wireless HP keyboard. I got a wired one or a wireless. I'll keep it wireless right now. Why not? But this is like, look, look you're almost there. You're almost there. Basically, this is the last thing you're gonna need. And this is to call the T20 toner arm. So this is gonna be for your microphone. So you can have more of a better look than just, you know, setting up uh, having a microphone, you can have something like this as well. As well as a personal using, just a regular desktop thing with a pop filter. You can use something like this, this works too. But I like the adjustable arms. These are actually really expensive. I was always, I never got this because I was gonna get the road one, they're always 100 bucks or more. But you figure there's some really good quality ones that are so much cheaper, it's only 40 bucks and it's really built. Even this, this alone is built to really perfection, honestly. And it fits underneath the table. And as you can see, you got the toner arm, so you can adjust it. Go in, go out, go up and above and down. So many different ways you can adjust your microphone to get that better quality sound that you'll need, especially if you're podcast or anything like that. You will have this, which is great. And the toner also comes, um, as you've seen previously, that comes with a little cushion top or you can use the pop socket it came with as well. So this is it, like look how sleek and design. Another thing you can obviously add would be like um, LED lights you can have around the table to make it really pop more. And honestly, it's just connecting everything, stick it on the bottom. And after you have it really connected the way you want to, cause you're really not gonna see any of the cables once you have it properly laid out, you can just uh, set everything up and it's gonna be, pretty good setup like it's clean like it looks really clean <laughs> you know what i mean so this is my little setup you know i got my speakers i got my audio interface i got my monitor and i you know obviously i want a second one for dual monitors 
and I got my keyboard, which I'm gonna get a new keyboard and new mouse, but um, you know, it's there. <laughs> it's there and it looks really good, it looks really clean. You don't need to go out and spend a crap ton of money. Like I said, if you're looking for a cheap way to get started, you don't have a table to, you know, or a desk and you just need something to put stuff on, get yourself a folding table and this tablecloth, you're worth it. Like it's worth it, 40 bucks, tablecloth, this, maybe it's like 40, 50 bucks combined. It's cheaper than paying one desk, which is like a hundred something dollars. And then you have to assemble it. And it's just like, who wants to do all that? And like I said, these come in different colors. So make it your own, make it red, make it blue, make it black, whatever. Green, if you're doing green screen, that may clash. So I probably wouldn't get green. But well, if you want to, and then you just green screen your table, make it look like you are floating on a professional table, like a newsstand, I get, why not? That works too. So <laughs> you could really do anything. It's kind of endless what you can do. I hope you guys like this video. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. I'm gonna be doing a bunch of these type of videos. Once my new PC comes, it's gonna get crazy. Also, I got a new piece of DJ gear, or music production gear, I guess you could say, that's also coming at the end of the month as well. So, so much to stay tuned, but like, yeah, make, a, uh, make your own studio. I'll leave some items in the description below, some Amazon links, if you definitely wanna help support the channel. Definitely uh, get some stuff off those links. Definitely will help me a lot. <laughs> but you know, it's definitely something I'm just trying to build solely. Do what you have and make it work. Just make it look nice. So if you have monitors, you have old speakers, you have whatever, it doesn't have to look crappy. Even if you're worried about cable management or just on a crappy desk, get yourself a folding table. If your table is that bad and you don't want to spend a lot of money, get yourself a folding table and a cloth. Make it look elegant. Then just put some lights around it cheap you know like uh i'm not gonna need because i'm gonna have this is gonna be lit up you know when that's lit up the monitor's lit up i mean you really don't need to add lights i also got backlights um dj lights that you can use or you can get some bulbs to make it you know look better i hope this video helped like i said make sure you like comment subscribe so i'm out of breath for the whole pretty much video because i've been going crazy <laughs> nah that was seriously hope you guys like this one and uh i'll see you guys around all right peace <laughs>